This week's weekly ritual is dedicated to the music and the memories of early Judas Priest drummer John Hinch and Karma to Burn co-founder Will Meekum, who both passed away this week. Rest in peace. Welcome back in Hales, everybody. You're watching the weekly ritual Ghost Cults news program right here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. GhostCultMag.com is a small business. With that out of the way, let's get to it. In case you missed it, features at Ghost Cult Magazine. Our own Wesley Negron interviewed the great Brian Beller. You might know Brian from his band The Aristocrats. He's also been in Death Clock and a ton of other projects. He's an incredible musician. Wesley and Brian caught up all about the brand new Aristocrats live album out today. We also ran our exclusive interview with Sarah Jezebel David, a legendary metal and symphonic metal vocalist. You know her from her time in Cradle of Filth and bands like Victoria. She is back with her new project with her composing partner, Chris Wren, torn between two worlds. They have two new singles out, including a new video for All Eyes on Me, which debuted here at Ghost Cult. We also interviewed rock singer Diamante about her brand new album, American Dream, out today! And finally in our features, we chatted with the great Amigo the Devil about his recent release, Born Against, which is out now on Liars Club Records. And now, the news rundown. We start off this week on a sad note, as we bring you the news of early Judas Priest drummer John Hitch, who passed away last week. The news of his passing was broken by Rob Halford on Instagram. John actually came into the band with Halford, and recorded their debut album, Rock a Roller, to party soon after. Rest in peace, John. We also bring you the sad news of the passing of Will Meacham, the legendary co-founder and guitarist of mostly instrumental stoner rock band, Carmen Burn. Will had suffered a fall, and ended up hospitalized in a coma, and passed away a short time later. As Will was the only founding member left in the band, that band is probably over. Rest in peace, Will. In another story we continue to follow here at Ghost Cult, we bring you the news once again of the ongoing saga of the hardcore show in New York City that ballooned to over 3,000 fans with no masks and almost no social distancing. Again, we love a lot of those bands that perform there, and we had a lot of friends in the crowd that day, but not the safest or smartest move to have a concert while we are still not out of the pandemic. New York City has revoked seven permits Black and Blue Productions had applied for for future shows, and strange enough, news has come down from the charity recipient for this concert. They have received no money from that crew. So this story continues to evolve and develop, and we'll continue to follow it. Here it goes, Paul. On to some good news. The metal tour of the summer is definitely back on. Megadeth, Lamb of God, In Flames, Trivium, again, not in that order, but those bands are gonna tour together this summer. They were postponed last year because of the pandemic and the shutdown, and now they're back. Tickets are on sale now. I know some fans were disappointed that some dates of that tour originally announced were canceled, but still, big, big news for the rock and metal world. Gojira has announced a headline tour of America. They already re-announced their tour with Deftones, where they're gonna be the support act. And now they've announced a run of headline dates with direct support from Knock Loose and Alien Weaponry. Those guys are awesome, so is Knock Loose. Big, big news from Gojira, who just dropped their new killer album, Fortitude. In other news, we continue to follow the story of Exodus legend Tom Hunting, who is battling stomach cancer. He's already had a procedure, he's been undergoing chemotherapy, and on a good news front, a huge GoFundMe is underway, raising money to help him offset the cost of medical bills. They've raised almost $90,000 with contributions far and wide from fans and friends, including Kirk Hammett and Chris Jericho. An awesome, awesome charity concert will be held, limited to only 100 people in Sacramento, California, this July to benefit Tom and continue to help him raise funds. Playing the fest will be Bay Area Legends, Blind Illusion, The Boneless Ones, and Jesus Crisis. And those bands all contain famous Bay Area thrash metal musicians. Pop and post-rock band Soulm is back. They have a brand new video game you can go play right now on Metal Sucks. And they have a brand new music video out and new music. The band is almost a low-key supergroup with members of Junius, Caspian, and more. Following up on another story we brought you some weeks ago, Anthrax is going to celebrate 40 years this summer. The 40th anniversary, the first band of the Big Four to celebrate the Big 4-0. And they have unveiled an incredible plan to release new videos and content every week. 
And the first two are live now on YouTube, and you can watch them as they discuss their debut album, Fistful of Metal, how the band formed, their demo process, how they got signed, and it's got members of Anthrax and former members of Anthrax, such as Dan Lilker and Neil Turbin. In a story that is both perplexing and strange, Rings of Saturn have been dropped unceremoniously from Nuclear Blast Records. For those that don't follow the music industry too closely, it's almost never announced when a band is dropped, only when a band is signed that you find out that they left one label to go to another. Rings of Saturn has a long and problematic history of beefs and bullshit in the business, and apparently they were threatening some actions against their record label, trying to hold them hostage. Nuclear Blast is one of the stand-up and best labels in the business. They've been around for 30 years or more, and Rings of Saturn, I don't know what to tell you. These guys are out of uh, a contract now. Rings of plays the tapes. I also can slow the tape down by 80% and sort of play riff. Good job. Cannibal Corpse legend Pat O'Brien has finally been sentenced after serving time in prison in Florida for his dust up with the police. He had kind of a mental health issues and a run-in with cops that involved firearms and weapons and fires in his home and his neighbor's home in Florida. He has been uh, allowed to have time served plus 150 hours of community service and a fine totaling almost $25,000 for damages. We hope Pat is getting the help he needs. Of course, Cannibal Corpse has got Eric Guitar now playing guitar in the band, but no actual statement has ever been made about Pat's future with the band. Perhaps he will return. Red Alert, y'all! At The Gates is back with brand new music, a new song, and a new video for their new track, Spectre of Extinction, off their upcoming album, The Nightmare of Being. The last one was incredible. This next one figures to be a banger. Time for some Metallica news. The band has announced another Month of Giving, a charity event, all month long, auctions and merch you can buy to support their foundation, all within my hands, which has been raising money this entire pandemic and even before, but especially since the lockdown, they've been raising money for frontline healthcare workers, for food banks, putting students into schools with $15 million donations, incredible stuff from them. The band are currently writing the follow-up to their 2016 album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct, probably coming out in 2022. In some related Metallica news, former bassist Jason Newstead has popped up in the news. He's been giving some interviews recently. In one interview, he revealed that he is glad he's out of the band now because all these years later, he could probably not hold up to the rigors even of the touring Metallica's doing today by today's standards. He feels like he couldn't hang, which is a shame. But we love Jason here. He's been doing some music. He occasionally pops up and does some shows, some solo shows. He's been painting and curating painting and art exhibits, some solo acoustic guitar stuff. We miss you, Jason. Come back soon. What's a band you miss that's broken up or on hiatus? Drop a comment below and let us know. Our pick would be Shadows Fall. And guess what? They might be coming back this year in 2021. According to a new interview with Jason Bittner, who's currently playing drums in Overkill, the band has talked about a reunion and potentially booked a reunion show for the end of the year at the Worcester Palladium in their old stomping grounds in Massachusetts. Two current members of Shadows Fall have a band together, John Denai of Anthrax and Matt Buchan of our Act of Defiance. So we are super stoked for the potential reunion of Shadows Fall. We hope it sticks. You know what we needed in 2021? Two Weezer albums. Is that four or two? Two Weezer albums. That's right, two. My voice cracked a little bit, I don't know why because I've been singing Buddy Holly right before I recorded this in my bedroom. Uh, Weezer has a brand new album coming out, Van Weezer! It's not quite a Van Halen tribute concert, but you know the guys in Weezer love heavy metal. It's more like cheap trick and 80s rock, but it's super fun. They just released their previous album, OK Cuban, just a few months ago. We are here for more Weezer music. Rivers Cuomo, come at me, bro. I want an interview. Los Angeles alternative metal band Ages is back with a heavy new single and video for their song Colors. We have an interview coming up with Kemble from that band. He just joined Chevelle as a touring bassist and he has a lot of stuff to unpack with us. Huge news in the post-metal world as Amon Ra has a brand new single out from their brand new album coming up soon, their first in their new deal with Relapse Records. Amon Ra is always an event type release and an event type band. Hopefully this means they're gonna tour. They are phenomenal. Canadian punk rock legend Murray the Cretan. You might know him from his band Dayglow Abortions. He just dropped the solo album, COVID-19 Nervous Breakdown, a clever play on words. And we're hoping to talk to Murray pretty soon for an interview. In an update to a story we brought you last week, Begat the Niflheim had suffered a terrible van fire which burned their touring van down and left their drummer Josh homeless. 
Well, fans and friends came to their aid and raised the $10,000 they needed for their GoFundMe to get a new van, and the band will now still be able to take part in their huge, huge tour this summer, opening for DSI, Cataclysm, and Eternal Bleed. Israeli doom and post-grunge artist Nicarus dropped a brand new video, the title track to her recent album, Cold People, Cold Puppets, which we'll see a re-release later this year as a fully remastered album. We debuted that video right here at Ghost Cult. She calls me Vest Guy, I don't know why. She's like, I don't know why, Vest Guy. Thanks, Vest Guy. I guess I am that I am that Vest Guy. You know what this shelf behind me needs, along with these Funkos? An odorous Urungus toy. And then there's one coming out right now from High On Plastics Toys. They do really cool models and monster toys and all kinds of stuff. And they're doing an odorous action figure. They made the announcement at Spooky Empire Con this past weekend in Florida. One of our favorite metal festivals in America is the Shadow Woods Metal Fest in Baltimore. And the band has just announced their lineup for 2021. Shows and fests are coming back, ladies and gentlemen. The Shadow Woods Metal Fest is gonna feature Panopticon and Vorm and Neolithic and a bunch of killer bands. It's gonna be socially distanced and safe. You're gonna have to have either a vaccine or an on-site COVID test, but it's definitely one of the coolest things happening in the post-lockdown world. Magnetic Eye Records and Blues Funeral Records are teaming up to bring you a live stream of stoner, doom, and punk bands. Day of Doom 2, a live stream event is coming up May 15th and includes such cool bands as Domcraft, Heavy Temple, Samnuri, Caustic Casanova, and Howling Giant. Canadian hardcore band Fucked Up is back with a brand new album, Year of the Horse, tentatively coming in August from Tank Crimes Records. The long-running band has got a series of albums coming up based on the Chinese Zodiac, and we're super pumped for this new music and new videos from the band. Atmospheric Australian black metal band Portal is back with a brand new album, A Vow, coming later this month. They have a new single and video out, I. The band is one of the most creepy and heavy and evil bands in the whole world. And frankly, I'm terrified and exhilarated at the thought of new portal music. I shit you not. Unbelievable stories you can't make up. In a story that our producer predicted last week, but it didn't make the show, so no one knows this but me, Willow, or Willow Smith, the daughter of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, and her brand new punk rock songs and videos. She's working on a music career and moving away from R&B and dance music into rock and punk. And now she did an awesome thing on a television show, Red Table Talk, for her mom for Mother's Day. She reunited Wicked Wisdom, Jada's metal band from the 2000s, and they covered a Wicked Wisdom song. And her mom, approvingly, very pleased, smiled and watched as it happened. Fuck yeah. And now for a look at who rules its streaming. The Great Decibel Magazine had their 200th issue and their 200th issue show, the Extremely Extreme live stream on YouTube, available to watch now. The show featured Midnight, Chemist, Full of Hell, Horrendous, and Wake. It was awesome. And now some of the music out for New Music Friday. Artega, Season of the Witch, Chapter 2, Interstellar Smoke, Artillery, X, Metal Blade. Beastwood, The Long Road to Ho EP, Golden Robot, Beekeeper, Slaves to the Nothing, Metal Assault, Book of Worms, Occult New Age, Desert Records, Candlemass, Green Valley, Live, Peaceville, Cult of the Sun, We Are the Dragon, Napalm Records, Darkfall slash Mortal Strike, Thrashing Death Squad Split, MDD, Disembodiment, Mutated Chaos EP, Everlasting Spew, Empty Throne, Glossolalia EP, Wise Blood, Ereb Altor, Elden's Boning EP, Hammerheart, Everlust, Diary of Existence, Wormhole Death, False Memories, The Last Night of Fall, Frontiers SRL, Ghost Iris, Comatose, Long Branch, Catan, Catan EP, Prosthetic, Kayak, Out of This World, Inside Out, Cosmo Demonic, Liminal Light, Transylvania, Last Agony, The Imminent Slaughter, Sentient Ruin, Mark Spiro, Traveling Cowboys, Frontiers SRL, Mistress, Resurrected, Blasphemous, Moon Coven, Slumber Wood, Ripple Music, Non Servium, Live Improvisations Volume 1, Work, Trepanation Records, Nordjavel, Fenrir EP, Indie Recordings, Osiah, Loss, Unique Leader, Out of Hand, Exility, 
Self-released. Pentrol. What lies ahead of us. Self-released. Pistols at Dawn. Nocturnal Youth EP. Self-released. Robin McAuley. Stand on the Edge. Frontiers SRL. Saliva. Every 20 Years EP. Megaforce. Save the World. One re-release. Frontiers SRL. Seth. Le Merci de Christ. Season of Mist slash Ladlow. Sonic Haven. Vagabond. Frontiers SRL. Sumo Psycho. Initiation. Napalm Records. Todd Michael Hall. Sonic Healing. Rat Pack. Tommy's Rock Trip. Beat Up by Rock and Roll. Frontiers SRL. The Vendettas. The Vendettas 3. Golden Robot. Vaconis. Odyssey. The Sign Records. And now for a look in our mailbag. What's in the mailbag? Oh, look, it's mail. Let's see who it's from. Thanks, Omar. Tyler! That's I got some mail from Tyler from Capra, an awesome band on Blacklight Media Records. We have an interview coming up with them soon. Their new album, In Transmission, is out now. And they sent me something cool in the mail. Let's see what it is. Open this thing up. Looks like a cool sticker, a cool beer koozie, oh, and a flag. During our interview, the guys commented on my flags and they sent me a flag. Let's open it up and take a look at it, shall we? Oh, look at this bad boy. This is very high quality stuff here. Oh, very Jane Doe inspired flag from Capra from their album artwork of In Transition. Very, very cool. Thank you, Capra. You woo. You know what time it is. It's the end of the show. Thank you for watching <laughs> Ghost Cult Mag, a small business. We appreciate your support. Like and subscribe. And in the meantime, it's a tough, tough time in the world. So please. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And stay. Fucking metal. <laughs>